Question 14a. Prove by mathematical induction that, for all integers n greater than or equal to 1, 1 multiplied by 1 factorial, plus 2 multiplied by 2 factorial, plus 3 multiplied by 3 factorial, plus dot dot dot, plus n multiplied by n factorial, equals n plus 1 factorial minus 1. The first step is to show the statement is true for some value of n, and we can choose n equals 1. The left hand side of the statement is equal to 1 multiplied by 1 factorial, which equals 1, and the right hand side of the statement is equal to 1 plus 1 factorial minus 1, that's 2 factorial minus 1, and that equals 1. Now the left hand side equals the right hand side, hence the statement is true for n equals 1. Next we assume the statement is true for n equals k, now, that is, 1 multiplied by 1 factorial, plus 2 multiplied by 2 factorial, plus 3 multiplied by 3 factorial, and so on, is equal to k plus 1 factorial minus 1. So all we've done is we've just replaced the pronumeral n with the pronumeral k. Next, we show the statement is true for n equals k plus 1. Now from the left-hand side, this is the left-hand side of the assumption, that equals 1 multiplied by 1 factorial, plus 2 multiplied by 2 factorial, plus 3 multiplied by 3 factorial, plus dot 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 plus k multiplied by k factorial, plus the next term along, which is k plus 1 multiplied by k plus 1 factorial. Now, this part of the series can be replaced with k plus 1 factorial minus 1. So that equals k plus 1 factorial minus 1 plus k plus 1 multiplied by k plus 1 factorial. So that's the next term along, the n equals k plus 1 term. So I've just written here from the assumption, just to make it clear that I've used the assumption here to simplify the, the series. And that equals k plus 1 factorial plus k plus 1 factorial multiplied by k plus 1 minus 1. So all I've done is just rearranged some of the terms. And we can see here that we can factorise out k plus 1 factorial from here and here. So that equals k plus 1 factorial multiplied by 1 plus k plus 1 minus 1. And that equals k plus 1 factorial multiplied by k plus 2 minus 1. And note here that k plus 2 is the next term after k plus 1. So k plus 1 factorial multiplied by k plus 2 can be written as k plus 2 factorial. So it just simplifies this part of the expression here. Minus 1. Now, rewriting this in terms of n, since n equals k plus 1, k plus 2 factorial minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 factorial minus 1, which equals the right-hand side of the original statement. So therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, the statement is true for all integers n greater than or equal to 1.